welcome you to AgriWars. Today, 25th March, I will be discussing about onion varieties of different seasons. Let us see in detail about onion varieties for different seasons. National Horticulture Research and Development Foundation, New Delhi, has developed 14 and 17 lines and varieties of onion and garlic for different agroclimatic zones and seasons. Out of these, 6 varieties of onion and 10 varieties of garlic was notified. First one I will be discussing about the big onion that is Agri found dark red variety. The bulbs are dark red in color, globular in shape with tight skin, moderately pungent and they will mature in 95 to 110 days after sowing. And the average yield is 300 quintal per hectare. And the next one is Agri found light red. The bulbs are attractive, dark, globular, round in shape with tight skin, reddish, thick inner scales and light red color. The mature in 110 to 120 days after transplanting, having good keeping quality. They are recommended for growing in rabi season all over the country. The average yield is 300 to 350 quintal per hectare. And the next one is NHRDF red. That is the line is 28. The bulbs are attractive red in color, global around in shape. Red is thick in a scales. The bulbs will be mixed for about 110 to 120 days after transplanting. The average yield is 250 to 300 quintal per hectare. And the next one is NHRDF red 2. The bulbs are attractive red in color, global in shape with tight skin. Thick neck, around 5 to 6 cm in the diameter. They will mature in 100 to 120 days after transplanting. The average yield will be 350 to 375 quintal per hectare. And next one is NHRDF Red 3. It is a light bronze in color, globular round shape with thick neck. And the size will be 5.5 to 6 cm in diameter and it will mature by 110, 120 to 130 days after transplanting. The average yield is 350 to 400 quintal. Average yield is 350 to 400 quintal and this recommended for rabi season in Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan. And next one is NHRDF Red 4. The bulbs are dark red in color, globular, round in shape, thin neck and its size ranges from 5.2 to 6.25 cm in the diameter. It will mature by 110 to 120 days after transplanting and the yield will be 350 to 400 quintal per hectare. And the next one is Agri found white. It is globular in shape. Tight skin and silvery attractive white color and it will mature in 110 to 130 days after transplanting having good keeping quality. It is suitable for cultivation in late carif and rabi seasons. Good variety for dehydration and it is recommended for Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. The average yield is 250 to 300 quintal per hectare. Madhya Pradesh Gujarat and Rajasthan is most suitable for this agri found white and it is also recommended for dehydration. And the next one is agri found rose. It is small onion. The bulbs are flattish round in shape, deep scarlet red in color. It will mature by 90 to 110 days from soaking. The size will be 2.5 to 3.5 cm in size and it is also pickling type. And it will mature by 95 to 110 days after sowing. It is recommended for growing in Karif in Andhra Pradesh. And in all the three seasons in Karnataka. And the next one is Onion Multiplier. The example is a variety uh, Agri Found Red. The bulblets are light red. Size of the bulblets is 3.64 cm. The number of bulbs per cluster is 5 to 6 and weight of single bulb is 8.85 gram. The average weight of the cluster is 65 to 67 gram. The average yield will be 180 to 200 kilo quintal per hectare. And 
it will mature in 55 to 67 days after planting. It is recommended for cultivation in Karif and Rabi in Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Kerala. And other lines are advanced line 863, advanced line 883, advanced line 857, advanced line 847, 49. If you want detail of these lines, please comment in the comment section. I will be describing them. Now let me discuss the crop of the day that is tobacco. As you all know tobacco is scientifically called nicotiana tobacco. It is under the family of Solanaceae. It is highly for the production of nicotine. Uh, mainly it is in the roots and is carried through stem to the leaves where it is stored. The nicotine is stored in the leaves. The first hybrid variety of tobacco is in India is GTH1. Indian tobacco has two cultivated species. Both are tetrapro that is chromosome number 2 and equal to 48. This one is nicotiana tobacco. The plant height is will be 150 to 250 centimeter. The, they are large and narrow leaves. The nicotine content will be 0 0.5 to 5.5 percent. This is mainly used for smoking and chewing purpose. And the next one is nicotiana rustica. This is smaller than tobacco. The nicotine content is 3.5 to 8 percent. In nicotiana tobacco, the nicotine content is 0.5 to 5.5 percent whereas in the rustica the nicotine content is 3.5 to 8 percent. It is used for hookah, chewing and snuff purpose. It is mostly grown on heavy soils. And the Indian tobacco are grouped into flu cured tobacco, non-Virginia type. Let us see what is flu cured Virginia. It is used for Secret tobacco, it is major exportable type. And the next one is non-Virginia type. It is used for BD, hookah and chewing tobacco. The 70% area and 80% production of the total tobacco is non-Virginia type. Let us see the term of the day. They are already discussing about pruning. Pruning is done to maintain convenient height of bush and to remove hair. Remove dead and diseased branches. The types of pruning are rejuvenation pruning. The whole bush should be cut near the ground level, less than 30 cm, with a view to rejuvenate the bush. And the next one is hard pruning. Uh, formation pruning of young tea is done at 30 to 45 cm for proper spread of the bushes. And the next one is medium pruning to check the bush growing to an inconvenient height. This type of pruning is done in order to stimulate new wood and to maintain the foliage at lower level less than 60 cm. And the next one is light pruning. Pruning depends upon the previous history of the bush raising. The height of medium pruning by an inch or less to manageable heights for plucking. And the next one is stiffing. This is the lightest of all pruning methods. A removal of only the top 5 to 8 cm. New growth is done so as to obtain a uniform level of pruning surface. Okay. The term of the day I have discussed is pruning. Pruning is done for maintaining convenient height of bush and to remove dead and diseased branches. Uh, these pruning types mainly used in tea gardens. That's all. That's for today's news. In case you have any query, you can comment in the comment section. You can follow the telegram channel mentioned in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe this channel if you are watching this channel for the first time. Thank you guys. Keep learning. Let us see in the next video and stay tuned.